guys, guys, karibuni sana. This is Kasheri. <laughs> Today I'm very early. I'm at Westside Mall, as you can see. This is the back entrance. Uh, I'm going. I'm heading over to uh, to Naivas for a health awareness talk eh? <laughs> for my company. So my colleagues are already going. So I'm uh, I'm 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> so we are just planning. I'll take you through it. Oh guys, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm nervous. I'm not scared. I'm nervous. So let's see how it goes. So guys, as you can see, it's early in the morning and the parking is as clear as possible. Uh, let me just show you around the Naivas Mall. This is the Naivas Food Market in Westside Mall. This is the Westside Mall in Akuru. So I'm heading over to the Naivas. <laughs> wish me luck, wish me luck. Okay, so, so. so guys, let's keep going. I'm heading over. This uh, escalator goes to LC Waikiki. So we are heading there to over to the Naivas. As you can see, this is the entrance. Oh my god! Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> I've stepped out to Kidogo because I'm told that it will start at 7 30 and I'm already here at 7. So I have to wait. I'm going back to the nine bus. I stay over there and as I wait for 30 minutes. Oh my god, let's see what I can do in there. Probably I can shoot a little one, two, three, and then yes. <laughs> you guys say it. Come on, hustle and short. Come on in that hour, we can do one to one two. It's not errands, errands is for each people. So let's do my one to one two as we wait. Oh baby Yeah Eh eh you made it Kashingo matata Design ya tagusi ya makanga Oh my baby Umetokia mbinguni Ona nina taranta Mtezo kitanda kandanda Oh my baby Ume So guys we are here The staffs are getting organized It's still early we are at 7.10 so we still have like 20 minutes to go so let's keep waiting I feel shy to like record eh? but let's, let's keep going let's keep going and see whatever we can be able to capture the rest of the things I'll not be able to capture them so that we're so much anxious when the time goes I'll be given like 20 minutes so 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't know if I'll be able to capture the topic so well. So let's see if I'll just do a briefing and everything. I'll just go shallow and do the basics. Then we see how it goes. Oh, stay tuned. Eh? So guys, I'm already at home because I had to head back home because I'll be working later in the day. So I'm heading. I have decided to come back home and take a rest. So do it one, two, three. <laughs> Unless I'm a hustler, one. <laughs> do my one, two, three. So I'm home. As a normal person, you're excited to see your video. So I'm checking on the, my video, the one that I gave the my colleague my camera so that she could record as I was giving my talk but her huh, to my disappointment na kujana pata suju me record you like a one minute anyway it's okay and the way I really wanted to talk about this diabetes in this in this channel so I've decided that I must do it here so nimeskanimbani and I really have to do it because I must talk about it Diabetes is a dire, is a very giant disease. It's a killer disease. It causes burden to the society, and it's just a, it's just a giant disease. So we are going to be brief, and we just talk 
points are uh, just bring points karibu karibu so first let's start without wasting any more time so what is diabetes diabetes uh, diabetes is uh, in full it's diabetes mellitus so diabetes mellitus is a um, metabolic disorder that uh, results in high blood sugars or what we call hyperglycemia so what happens is maybe uh, it's not maybe there's a uh, defects in insulin secretion or action or both uh, so diabetes how do we classify diabetes uh, we have different we have diabetes type 1 diabetes type 2 uh, we have other diabetes like gestational diabetes and we have other now other diabetes that are as a result of exocrine and endocrine disorders when I mean endocrine I mean like uh, the pa pancreatitis the pancreas disorders eh? but the exocrine ones are maybe drug induced yeah drug induced diabetes so uh -huh. so on that note how do you know that you have diabetes but even before we go that what's the difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes so yes let's start with type 1 diabetes type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune <laughs> it's an autoimmune disease actually that results to destruction of the pancreatic cells which are called the beta cells eh? beta islet cells <laughs> so when there's a destruction in the pancreatic cell uh, there will be insufficient production of insulin yes so there will be insufficient production of insulin and for this case it's 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 normally happens to people on younger age or early teenager uh, and for you to survive for you to survive you must live with insulin yes so let's go to the type 2 diabetes which is common 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 kabisa so this type 2 diabetes is because of progressive destruction of the pancreatic beta cells eh? uh, sana sana why 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 are they destroyed eh? because uh, this there are so many factors which i'll classify them as modifiable and unmodifiable factors so non-modifiable factors <laughs> this is age above uh, 40 yeah you will be at risk uh, and then there's something like family history and then we have something like the uh, we have something like hypertension hypertension also uh, goes uh, with non-modifiable factor and then there's this one ethnicity that if you are an african or an asian <laughs> you are at risk of it what are the modifiable factors modifiable factors are like obesity inactivity dyslipidemia which is uh, a dyslipidemia yes it's only sana so, so this and type 2 diabetes researchers are saying that it accounts to 90 to 90 per, 99 percent of causes of diabetes so a lot of people living with diabetes are diabetes type 2 okay so how do you know somebody has diabetes <laughs> okay so a person can present with uh, with uh, frequency in urination excessive thirst weight loss easy fatigability yes those are the most common but zile, zile, uh, those are the most common especially the increase in frequency but of course this the, uh, it's very hard to detect diabetes type 2 at an early age at an early stage because of it can mimic other illness but if you see a person with increased in inc increased uh, increased thirst uh, excessive uh, urination weight loss easy fatigability and things like that you can just take the person to the hospital to be checked yes so we are done with um, the causes of diabetes uh -huh. so uh, how, how do we know somebody has diabetes apart from uh, how, how how do we diagnose diabetes so, uh, sorry oral uh, plasma glucose actually so the plasma glucose we can take the fasting blood sugar and also we can take the glycated glucose 
the glycated is the ina, ina itwanga HB1 phase which checks the three monthly control of of the sugars and then you can do the postprandial one the two hour glucose control tolerance yes so and then so that's how uh, if it's above for fasting if it's above seven then you you then if it's above seven <laughs> if it's above seven apo hapo like if uh, you are at risk of it uh for hp1 see if it's above seven seven also seven percent you are at risk of 6.8 eh? uh for the two hours tolerance uh it's above uh it's above uh it's above 11 <laughs> if it's above 11 different books they give different ranges yes so we have already diagnosed diabetes how do we treat diabetes so we have this primary 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 how do we call that before we treat before we treat, we, treatment of diabetes of course kuna kuanga na hiyo <laughs> lifestyle modification my friend we really have to do lifestyle modification and then when it's extreme we have to do the oral hypoglycemic agents okay sawa so uh what what do i mean by lifestyle modification now here is the it's uh, it's so interesting interesting and interesting so sahapa this is where i want you all to give you my ear, your ears eh? uh lifestyle modification that means physical activity physical activity means uh, uh we can do the aerobic aerobic is running and walking for 30 minutes three times a week eh? physical activity you check on your diet you are ch- you, uh, you you concentrate on weight loss like five to ten percent eh? uh you have to check your bmi B- bmi is body mass index where you have to you take your weight over height squared and then you see if the normal one should be around 18 less uh should be uh should be 18 18 18.5 to 24.9 yes to 24.9 eh? so your bmi normally should be around there so you should check on that you should check your waist circumference because like for male it should be your waist circumference should be one weight it should not go more it should not go above one or two but for female yours is a little 88 higher and then so we have discussed about the, your diet and then your diet you have to increase a lot of fiber and uh, for diabetes you're discouraged fruits so you have to limit the fruit intake yes so and then uh, after that you have to go to alcohol alcohol so alcohol what is the ideal alcohol take so hey al- ideal alcohol take you're supposed to take one unit of alcohol one standard unit of alcohol a day what is standard unit of alcohol per day so standard one unit it's categorized according to which type of alcohol that you take so i'll start with the with the strong beers which goes to four 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 to four point five percent yes so for strong beers you have to take 200 and 250 mils 250 mils of the strong beer which is four percent make up one unit one standard unit higher and then and then for the mild for the mild one the mild beers which is like 3.5 percent you have to you can take 350 ml that will make one unit higher and then let's go to these people who are who like alcohol the 40 percent people so for the 40 percent one unit is 30 mils only 30 ml so it's only 30 ml of uh of the spirits and the other strong uh, uh, the spirits and uh, I think the whiskeys they don't in the books they don't t- talk about the whiskeys most of the time they talk about the spirits which is 40 percent for the wine takers girls for the wine takers you have to take you if you have to take then it's 150 mil <laughs> per day which makes uh, one u- one standard unit of alcohol you have uh, so we have already spoke about about that so mm-hmm. So let's talk about um, let's talk about cessation and then we have to cease nene kama tobacco is tobacco and cigarettes you have to stop 
Yes, so you, ho- you have to do all of that for you to live a healthy lifestyle. And then what do you do when you find out that somebody has diabetes? Please give them your support. Give them your support. Kabisa, give them your support. It's not easy to just take your medication every day. Just help them. You can mo- you can encourage them so that what you, what you feel wameboeka, what you feel wameboeka, wameboeka na life. A lot of people give up because of taking medications daily especially the scary and also their diet if you have your mom or your dad who is diabetic make sure your their diet to cook for them a very good palatable diet palatable affordable diet and yet you can eat yes you can eat so i guess for now that's all about diabetes i think i've covered everything most of the things that you need to know about it so <laughs> the video will be ended how i ended it while i was in (laughs) suicide mode thank you so much i hope you have learned 